Hey, it's Krenz. When I leveled my mage, I leveled with mining and engineering, but recently I decided to get my robe of the archmage, so I ditched mining and leveled up tailoring, got my epic robe, and then ditched tailoring again. Instead of leveling up mining, I decided to go with herbalism, because I love lasher farming, and picking up herbalism adds a couple of gold to each run. In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly get up to 300 herbalism. I'm going to show you the route I took, as well as give you some other options, some general tips and tricks. Before we get into it, please consider subscribing. Every time I wake up and I see a new subscriber, it really makes my day a lot better. So if you like the video, drop a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let's get into it. First things first, get the add-on called GatherMate 2. And there's also the Gather Me 2 data add-on. You can get these on the Twitch app, which is where I prefer to get all my add-ons. It's quite easy to just import the data into your uh, add-on and then just choose Herbalism. I also choose Treasure Chests, so they will show up on your map. I also have the Leatrix Plus add-on with Quick Looting enabled, just so you don't have to wait that extra 0.03 seconds every time you pick up a flower. It adds up. Obviously you want to have Auto Loot enabled, Again, to save a little bit of time every time you pick up a flower. If you go into your uh, graphic settings, you can reduce ground clutter. I would suggest taking this all the way down, because this will make it a lot easier to spot the flowers or the nodes. When starting out especially, it would be really nice to have the gloves with the plus five herbalism enchant, so you don't have to go through a couple of awkward failing to pick up, or you might just be two steps too low to pick up a node. I would suggest enchanting some white non-soulbound gloves, so if you have an alt who wants to level a herbalism later, you can just transfer them over. I didn't actually get the enchanted gloves because the recipe wasn't available on my server and uh, I didn't see an enchanter online that had it, so I just skipped it. But I would recommend you get it. Do as I say, not as I do, kind of thing. It goes a lot faster if you have your epic mount, so if you've been saving up for it, it's a good time to get it. Many zones have uh, plants with wildly different skill levels to pick. So sometimes you will come back to a zone and sometimes you can stay in a zone a very long time. Different plants have different uh, ways they grow and it's a kind of a cool little feature in the game. So for example, you learn to check for silver leaf by trees. Wild steel bloom is on or near cliffs and hills and things like that. It's just a nice little touch. When you're moving up to a new plant, it can be a bit difficult to see in the beginning. For example, sun grass in the hinterlands are straws of green grass on green ground, surrounded by almost identical straws of green grass. I really struggled to find them in the start, even when I was standing on top of them. Or maybe because I was standing on top of them. Since I am an undead mage and love all things undead, I started, of course, in Tearsful Glades, but all the starting uh, areas work for a beginning herbalism. I did this up to around 50 skill. 50 plus, so I went down to Silver Pine Forest. The early swift thistle can actually be worth a little bit, like 40 silver on my server when I did this. It might even be higher on your server, so you could actually make a little bit of gold already at 50 plus herbalism. Some other options include Duratar, Mulgore, Westfall, and Don Maroon. At about 100 skill level, I, I mostly picked Bruce Weed around Amber Mill which is in Silver Pine Forest, and some green skill plants around the area. This last bit was a little bit slow, so maybe I should have moved on to the next area a little bit earlier. The Barrens, Stone Talon Mountains, and Ashen Vale are also recommended for this level. When I was 135 skill, I went to Desolus by chance. I found a lot of Grey Moss around the Kodo Graveyard, and it's almost a gold each now, so I stayed there a bit and uh, earned some gold while leveling up my skill. Around this level you can also go to Swamp of Sorrows for King's Blood. Swamp of Sorrows has a wide range of different plants for you to pick and you can come back here later as well. At around 160 plus, Strandbad North is uh, very good. I was there a little early, 170 plus was probably a bit better. At 180 it's back to Swamp of Sorrows. It might be good to come a little bit earlier but it was still good at 180. You can't pick the blind weed until you're 235 though and there's a lot of it around. This is also where you can farm for the herbalism enchant from the moss elemental like creatures around the sun, if it's as rare on your server as it was on mine. 
Sometimes it can be hard to see plants in this area just because of how the ground is. So at 250 I went to the hinterlands, but I think it's good from around 230. You get the gold thorn, sun grass, cadgar's whiskers, purple lotus, and some golden sandstone around 260. There's also some ghost mushrooms in the caves you can pick. All in all, very good area. You can also go to Fairless, Ashara, or Felwood. If you enjoyed Swamp of Swaros a lot, well, you can still pick uh, Blind Weed there, if you so wish. Once you hit 270, there's only one place for me, and that's the Dire Mall East, Lashers. This is the entire reason I took up Herbalism to begin with. At 270, you can pick up the Dreamfoil, which is the last plant in there, and it's worth quite a bit. So, 270 to 300, just DM East Lasher runs for me. If you don't want to go to DM East, Dreamfoil is good from 270 to 285 in Angora Crater and Ashara. And 285 plus you get the Plague Blooms and the Plague Lands. The Eastern and Western Plague Lands. I hope you found this uh, quick herbalism guide helpful. And I hope you get your uh, herbalism skill up very quickly. Thank you and I hope you have a wonderful day.